a snapshot, a moment in time. Once the camera clicks, that moment lives on forever, preserved on film. On October 8, 1860, James Wallace Black captured a moment that would change America forever. It was a picture of his hometown, Boston. It wasn't what he captured, but how. This was the first person in the United States to ever take an aerial photograph and was taken from a hot air balloon. And thus, aerial photography was born. From that moment on, the development of aerial photographs grew at a fast pace. Everything from hot air balloons to kites to even pigeons started being regularly used as a method to take photographs from the air. The development of aerial photography throughout the last 150 years has given us hundreds of millions of pictures from above. It was when we conquered flight that the uses of aerial photography began to grow. Planes were first used in combat during World War I, but more importantly, they were used to spy on the enemy. Two times a day, they would cross enemy lines, a bird's eye view of what they were doing and planning. Aerial photography was key to winning the war and helped revolutionize reconnaissance and spy tactics. One World War I pilot would take those skills back to his home state of Texas. Originally a World War I ace fighter pilot, Edgar Tobin got out of the war and started up one of the first aerial photography businesses in the United States. He commercialized the process and began to hire aerial photography teams to fly over and map out territories using Fairchild aerial cameras to capture shots of the land below. As each roll of film was unraveled, an unusual glimpse into our history has been uncovered, revealing a vantage point rarely seen from the early part of the 20th century. Well, the Tobin Collection uh, starts in uh, 1928 uh, with a large amount of the stuff that's essentially from the Golden Age of Flight. During the Golden Age of Flight, technological development in both the aircraft and photography industries carved out a path for new innovations. The oil and gas industry was in the middle of the Texas oil boom and soon became highly dependent upon aerial photography. Edgar Tobin Aerial Surveys was in high demand and conveniently located in the heart of Texas, the center of this soaring market. That development would increase throughout the United States the Tobin Aerial Photo Collection, consisting of approximately 1.6 million frames, was recently acquired by HistoricAerials.com. Getting this collection, I, I don't know if people can have a true appreciation. It's almost like Christmas morning. We're opening up its package. We really don't know what's in it until we get it. But what we're finding out, yeah, primarily a lot of it, the early stuff at least, is in, in, in the Gulf Coast but um, it is our understanding, though, that there is coverage for the entire United States. Yeah, the size of the collection is enormous. Two semi-loads of, of boxes and boxes and boxes and more boxes, and then there were some more boxes. Then you have a greater appreciation when you actually have to move it. And if I didn't save this, that was going to be gone forever. So let's just scan the whole thing, make sure we preserve it, because one of the things that we have found over the time, sometimes we open up a can of film and it's bad. Eventually, if we kept waiting another decade, another 20 years, they all would have been bad. In addition to surveys for the oil and gas industry, aerial photographs became an essential component to agricultural studies geological research, as well as reconnaissance and surveillance. The advancements in the aerial surveillance industry allowed for research and surveys to be performed at a scale and speed previously considered to be beyond the realm of possibility. In the digital age of today, 
we can take a snapshot of each innovation and how it came to be from the pigeon to the drone, the first aerial photograph to daily satellite coverage of the planet, from the Hubble telescope to landing on Mars. History and evolution has developed our path to the future built upon the roots of our past pioneers.